Maddie. Thank you so much for coming back to check out my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna do my first official thrift with me. I think I've technically done a thrift with me in the past, but not since I've like revamped my channel and I'm trying to do more thrifting content and follow me around style vlogs. So me and my boyfriend Michael are gonna go thrifting at a bunch of different thrift stores in the Orlando, Florida area. I don't think we have anything we're particularly looking for. Maybe some furniture that we can redo, some cool decor. I probably won't look through the clothes too much just because I don't want to bore him. But if you're wondering real quick, my style is kind of grungy alternative and I've also been into the Y2K style. I think I'd really like to find some cool purses and some cool different decor. So let's just check out some new thrift stores to us and see what we can find. <laughs> was chaotic. Didn't really find anything. Line was too long, even if we wanted one thing anyways. Next door. <laughs>
headed home, we ran into an estate sale. So let's see what we can find here, if anything at all. start filming my thrift hauls so bear with me i'm just in my dining room we got a lot of different little home decor items and technically only like two clothing items today also only purchased from two thrift stores one was a massive goodwill that was very chaotic and the other one was one i'd never been to it was like a little family thrift store i really liked it because it was very like calm and peaceful and quiet and i really enjoyed that thrift store i'll definitely have to go back so let me show you what i got First, we'll do clothing items. I found this silky shirt. It was in the pajama section, but I am gonna wear this as a regular top. Very trendy. It's, I thought it was like a blue gray, but it's a gray satiny cami, and this was $3. Then I found this little scarf. It is a blue print, few different colors there. And this was $2. I've been really wanting to find some satiny scarves like this to do like the little head wrap kind of thing. I think that's super cute. And now on to decor. I'm not exactly sure how much she charged us for each of these decor items. I think it was anywhere from 50 cents to a dollar a piece. This really cool orange vase. I love the style of this. I just think this is such a vibe. Here is a little kind of blue green teal one, kind of a similar vibe with the cool shape. Then just a basic orange little flower pot because flower pots are always expensive and this was cheap. I thought I should get it now so when we get more plants, we have pots to put them in. This guy, I don't know. There is something vibey about this candle holder and cool. Um, I don't know if I'll put one of these tall candles. Let's see. Oh no, it doesn't fit. Damn it. Well, I'll have to figure this out because it, it needs a candle. I thought it'd be cool to have something really tall in like certain decor spaces. I don't know if I'll spray paint this or not yet, but it's cool shape. I thought this canister was very vintage -y and cool, kind of 70s-esque to me. It's um, like a daisy seeds canister. I don't know if this was ever actually filled with daisy seeds. I think it's like a, a fake vintage thing, but I think it's really cute. What do y'all think? I could spray paint this black. I think I might like that a little bit better, but I'm just going to use it as decoration somewhere. Now at the Goodwill, I don't know if y'all care for me to tell you like this thrift store I got these and this Goodwill I got these because it, it doesn't really matter. It's not like it's this is from Target, this is from Walmart. They're all from thrift stores. You're probably not going to find them. Sorry. I found this trivet. I love this emerald green color. We have, I don't know if you can see all the way back here, we have this buffet we painted in emerald green color and this matches really well. It matches my chairs too. It's heavy metal and this was $4. And a trivet is something you put on a table so that when you have like a really hot pot or bowl, you can set it on top of this without messing up your table, but they're also pretty to display. Y'all know I had to get the one Halloween thing I found. It's just a little jack-o'-lantern pumpkin jar. I have no idea where this is originally from, but it was $2 and I love him. Another pot planter that I found, this one was two dollars it has a little bit of chipping i need to fill in but i'm not sure if i should spray paint this like a color because i feel like flower pots you typically have like pops of color in your flower pots it looks nice so i might spray paint this gold or maybe like navy or the terracotta orange we have in our bedroom i'm not sure but two bucks was definitely a good deal and then this we found in the case for some reason. It was $7 and it is from Twine Living Co. It's a gourmet wood and ceramic cheese board gift set. 
We love cheese boards here and this was brand new, like sealed in the package. And I think it's pretty cool. So you have like the cheese board side and the ceramic side. This comes out. But this is so nice for just like fancy evenings or when we have guests. And then it did also come with like the little prong fork thing and the little knife. And the best thing we found by far, I think one of our craziest thrift finds, and clearly somebody priced this and had no idea what it was. We found a Waterford Crystal glass. If you don't know, Waterford Crystal is very expensive. It's very bougie. It's fancy, real crystal. And we found only one, unfortunately. We looked everywhere. We couldn't find a matching set but this is a champagne flute. It has a little bird. Very pretty. And this was $2, $2. Somebody priced a Waterford crystal glass at $2. That is crazy. Now selling just one probably won't give us that much of a profit. We could probably sell it for 30 or $40. Um, but sets of these easily go for anywhere from like 60 to a hundred dollars for their basic champagne flute glasses. So definitely worth it. I think for two bucks, this was a crazy good find. And it does in fact have the Waterford stamp on the bottom. Of course, let me see if you can see. Do you see it? Do you see this little stamp? It says Waterford. Well, that was today's thrift with me. Let me know if you like it. I feel like every time I do a vlog and a video now on YouTube, I'm learning as I go and finding how I want to film things better and edit things better. So these will get better with time. So give it a thumbs up if you're excited for more thrifting content. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Maddie Hearts. I'm super active there. Everything is linked in the description down below. Give this video a like. It really, really helps me out, truly. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so maybe you'll be notified next time I upload a video and you guys will see me very soon. Bye. I can't